بإن تاون اليوم مشاهدينا رح نتعرف على مركز سكيلز مركز تعليمي تدريبي تأسس من حوالي سنتين ونص موجود بمنطقة الجميزة ومن وقتها لهلا عم بيحقق نجاح كبير حبينا اليوم نتعرف عليه أكثر مع ضيفتنا أحد مؤسسي مركز سكيلز سيدي يوكا نسار ولكم يوكا It's our pleasure to Thank have you. you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, we'll be talking mainly in English uh, today because yes. uh, you are uh, from Holland. I'm from Holland and although I have lived here 16 years and I speak some Arabic, my Arabic is not good enough for an interview. Okay. Yeah. Um, English is the main uh, topic at the skills. That's the main language that you teach, but there are other languages also that you teach. Before we talk about all the details, tell us a little bit about your background and also your partner, Ellen Duride. Okay, we're both from Holland and uh, we've been living here for quite a while. I've been here 16 years, Helen has been here 13 years. And uh, Helen's background is more corporate. She's okay. been, uh, she has a customer service background with British Telecom. She worked for more than 10 years in a managerial position in Holland okay. and France. My, my background is more languages. Okay. I actually did my teaching diploma at AUB and also my master's in English literature at AUB as well. So I myself am a mature student. And we decided a couple of years ago, two and a half years, three years ago, to open a learning center, hoping to create an atmosphere where learning actually is uh, something you wish to do rather than something you are obliged to do. Something you enjoy doing. Something you enjoy mm. doing, yes. Mm. That's the main reason you decided to open uh, yes. Skills? Yes. From Holland, the pressure to learn and to study, it's slightly different. And mm. a lot of students mm. actually go to school with pleasure. Yeah. And uh, this is what we try to aim at skills. Mm -hmm. أم يوكا وإلان هن مؤسسي مركز سكيلز واثنيناتهم من أصل هولندي صاروا فترة طويلة بلبنان أكثر من 10 سنين 13 و 16 سنة عايشين هون كل واحدة عندها خبرة أو خلفية مختلفة يوكا عندها خبرة بالتعليم وباللغات وكمان إلان عندها خبرة بعالم الأعمال وبتصور جمعوا خلفياتهم حتى يأسسوا مركز سكيلز حتى يكون مميز عن غيره بلبنان At skills you give English language which courses uh, mainly, Yoka. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about these courses and who are your students mainly? Um, we have a variety of English language courses. Our main course is the conversation course and we target all uh, ages. We have had students of 60 years, a young student of 18 and they all blend together provided their level is the same. Mm -hmm. We work with small groups, maximum 10 people. We, they are actually around the table so you have an interactive approach. Okay. Our teachers are English native speakers. They know the language in and out, and we carefully select them. They're fun, they're ac academic, professional, they have experience. Mm -hmm. And we have students that don't know very much English, but after six weeks or two okay. sessions of six weeks, their English dramatically improves. Mm -hmm. Again. English native speakers for teachers, meaning they're not of Lebanese uh, origin? Um, at the moment Some we are. have American mm. and English, but sometimes we can have a uh, Lebanese uh, okay. native English speaker who grew up who in is, America uh, okay. or in England Who's or definitely Australia. definitely fluent in English. This must, mm. Yes, it has to be a first language. That's mm. uh, what we aim for. I'm going to give you a idea of the courses that they give in the Skills to learn the English language in the first level. There are a lot of people from the English language حسب الأعمار كمان من عمر صغير للمتقدمين بالسن ممكن يلاقوا صف بيناسبهم المميز بهالصفوف أنه في كتير تفاعل بين التلميذ والأساتذة اللي عندهم خبرة كتير واسعة باللغة الإنجليزية في اهتمام أكتر بالتلميذ لأنه عدد التلميذ بيكون أقل من غير مراكز تعليم وبيتقدموا بشكل كتير سريع بعدة أسابيع تتحسن لغتهم الإنجليزية Other than the English language you also teach other languages at skills uh, actually, we do Arabic and Dutch, mm -hmm. but on a, on a smaller scale. Arabic mostly private. Mm -hmm. We don't have a class. And Dutch, it's really for people looking to go to, Who are interested to Holland. In, in that and they language need to do an exam. There is an mm -hmm. exam required before you can go. Mm -hmm. And we teach Dutch to those people. Mm -hmm. بيعلموا كمان بالإضافة للغة الإنجليزية دوتش اللغة الهولندية وكمان عربي ولكن هيدي بتكون أكثر على مستوى خاص. Other than language courses, you also give preparatory class courses for classes like the SAT, TOEFL and others. Yes, we have SAT, IELTS, TOEFL mm -hmm. and SAT is a strong product for skills. It's very successful. This summer we had more than 150 students take the course. 
and uh, students are, they feel this interactive approach at skills. It's the small groups again, we have maximum 10 students. Mm -hmm. So there is uh, time to ask questions, the mm -hmm. teacher encourages asking questions, the approach mm -hmm. is not lecture style whereby knowledge mm -hmm. is poured into the students, but the student is actively involved in their mm -hmm. own learning process. Mm -hmm. So it's through asking questions, interactive uh, approach mm. together. That and that's what makes you different from other SAT centers I would in say Lebanon? So. Yes, because in general it is traditional uh, school style whereby mm -hmm. you have desks behind each other mm -hmm. and the teacher speaks and you just have to listen. So it's mm -hmm. passive. And try to retain all the information and they, you can. They can dream off. While oh, okay. in our setting, facing each other, it's harder to dream off mm. and you are involved. Mm. All uh, the classes have round tables? Yes, we okay. all have around the table. Mm -hmm. Even our uh, business uh, writing course, it's also an interactive course mm -hmm. whereby you write while you are in class and mm -hmm. you compare with the other students mm -hmm. how they no. performed, how they wrote their letter. And you learn from each other as well as from the teacher, just like with the SAT. بالإضافة إلى تعليم اللغات، مركز Skills بيقدم صفوف تحضيرية لامتحانات كتير مهمة مثل the SAT, the IELTS وكمان the TOEFL. واللي بيميزون عن غير مراكز تعليمية بتعل بتحضر لل SAT هو إنه في تفاعل دائم بين التلميذ وال SAT زي مصفوف منا مجهزة مثل الصفوف المدرسة الطاولات وراء بعضها في طاولة مستديرة بتجمع كل التلميذ عليها وعدد دائم. ما بيتخطى العشرة تلاميذ وبيكون في تفاعل دايم بين التلاميذ وبين الاستاذ فاكيد بيستفيدوا اكثر وبيمتصوا معلومات اكثر من الاستاذ لانه بالصفوف العاديه اجمالا التلميذ بيضيع لانه في مثل محاضره مستمره وما بيكون فيها التفاعل الدايم. So you give English classes, preparatory yes. classes uh, for all kinds of exams. What about uh, students who are preparing for uh, brevet and bac? That's also very challenging. Very important, very challenging. It's a new product that we're going to launch probably around December time. It will be more, not like a class, it will be more like a clinic, whereby students after school can come to skills with their questions, even just to do their homework. And as they're doing their homework, they have questions. They can then ask the teacher presence. We will select the teachers from the BAC program and the mm -hmm. Brevet program. It's actually the last four years of high school, okay. French high school. Although I speak English, the program mm -hmm. will be for French students. Mm -hmm. And the aim also is to remove pressure from the house because very okay. often it's the burden it's, of the it's mother. It's very difficult for parents to help their uh, children at this level. I think also it's difficult because students sometimes might not always cooperate with the parents mm. and you have this conflict, you have to mm -hmm. start, you still have a lot to do. So by sending them to skills, you will put them in a professional space mm -hmm. and their homework will be taken care of mm. and explanations are uh, given by the mm. teacher. فترة بعد الظهر بالاشهر القادمه رح تكون مخصصه كمان للتلاميذ اللي عم يتحضروا ب لمرحله البريفي والباك هون التلميذ بيوصل لعندهم وهون البرنامج عم بيكون برنامج فرنسي التلاميذ بيوصلوا على المركز مع اسئله مجهزه من الاشياء اللي قدمت لهم خلال النهار وبيطرحوها على الاساتذه المتخصصين بمركز سكيلز وبيحاولوا يحلوهم سوا وهون هدفهم انه يخففوا العبء على الاهالي اللي يمكن ما بيقدروا يساعدوا اولادهم بهالمرحله وحتى الاولاد اللي يمكن ما كثير بيتعاونوا مع الاهل بهالعمر اسهل عليهم اكيد انه يتوجهوا على مركز سكيلز حتى يحصلوا على هالمعلومات. Uh, do you give other courses or workshops here? I think you're trying to benefit from uh, Helen's uh, the background. Yes, the corporate mm. uh, workshops definitely Helen is a major player in that. Mm -hmm. Because of her background, she knows what companies are looking for. And we try to put workshops together that really benefit a company. What kind of workshops? What can you offer to people in the business Actually, field? Actually, one workshop is a, the business writing. Mm -hmm. uh, although it might sound as a course, we call it workshop because within the course there's lots of work done, lots of writing, lots of tasks. And through this doing of mm -hmm. tasks and activities, you learn. And this business writing workshop is very effective after two, three lessons only. There is directly a major difference in how people put their email together. Okay. But then we also have in-house training for companies. We do public speaking, stress management, time management, mm -hmm. goal setting, lots of soft skills that all together actually help an employee be more effective mm -hmm. with their time and with mm -hmm. their goals. Mm -hmm.
من الصفوف او التدريب المميز اللي بيقدمه مركز سكيلز هو الورش العمل او الوركشوبس الخاصه لعالم الاعمال ان كان رجال او سيدات او شركات بتحب تقدم هالشيء او هالكرات لموظفينا بتساعدهم كثير بمجال الكتابه حتى يقدروا يقدموا ايميلز وكل شيء متعلق بعالم الاعمال حتى يكون ادائهم افضل وحتى يكونوا مرتاحين اكثر بعملهم. Um, you also thought of uh, seniors, people who are a yes. bit older. What can you offer them? Actually, in Holland, it's very, actually very common and popular for a senior to go back to school to learn anything. And we actually have a computer course. Because they have a lot of free time. They have free time, too. and especially for computers. Although you can ask your son, your daughter, or your grandson or granddaughter, very often you need to re-ask and re-ask. <coughs> And sometimes maybe they might feel like, oh, there is data asking again for the same question. So we actually do have a computer course, especially for older age. But it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be really old. We also had students above 45 mm -hmm. learning about Word, Excel, mm -hmm. Facebook, Gmail, uh, how to browse, how to actually okay. set up an Apple account and to learn how to use iTunes, how to buy movies. I think there are a lot of younger people who don't know how to do these uh, Pro, things. Yes, mm -hmm. actually it is, a, we call it non-professional computer use. So it is also for younger people that wish mm -hmm. to learn how to have an Apple account and how to actually use the Apple TV to watch movies through your telephone. Okay. Because you can use your iPhone to, use, uh, to watch movies mm -hmm. on your television. Mm -hmm. حتى فكروا بالمتقدمين بالسن بمركز سكيلز في كرات خاصه لهم كرات متعلقه بالكمبيوترز كل شيء له علاقه بالكمبيوترز كيف بيستعملون البرامج المختلفه اللي يمكن ما صح لهم وقت يتعلموا عليها او برامج ترفيهيه على الكمبيوتر اذا عندهم وقت كمان فاضي حتى يتسلوا ومش ضروري المتقدمين كثير بالسن حتى بكمان منتصف العمر بيقدروا يكتسبوا خبره من وراء هالكورسز ان وان سنتنس Uh, Yoka, what makes uh, skills better or different from other learning centers? I think it's the personal approach of Helen and I. We follow our students closely. We know their names. We know if they, for especially for the SAT, we know their scores. We know how they feel. And for our English language courses, we each know, we know each and every person by name and we know their story. Mm -hmm. So it's the personal approach and academic and professional approach. No. برأي يوكا الاهتمام الخاص اللي هي وشريكتها الان بيقدموا لكل تلميذ او كل شخص بيتوجه لعندهم على مركز سكيلز هو اللي بيميزهم بالدرجه الاولى عن غيرهم من المراكز التعليميه والتدريبيه بلبنان. Thank you for being with us يوكا. It's a pleasure to be here. And we wish you continued success. Thank you, thank you. وقفي مشاهدينا وبنكمل حلقتنا لليوم مع فقره صحه.